Ludicon was a gathering of Ludi Labs fans held in July 2016. We had about 120 of our biggest fans show up to play games with us. We were celebrating the 20th anniversary of the day I invented Flux. So of course we had a birthday cake and we sang happy birthday to Flux. Happy birthday to Flux! I think my favorite would have to be Monty Python Flux just because I love the references and the fact that I can sing Monty Python songs. Uh, my favorite Flux is uh, Firefly Flux. If you enjoy the series, kind of a way to kind of relive the adventures. For me, it's Cthulhu Flux. Much more challenging and really chaotic. My favorite Flux is probably Monster Flux. It's uh, family friendly. My kids like it. I have to go with the first one that I was ever introduced with, which was Star Flux, um, which was my first game that I pr actually played with the uh, person who introduced me into gaming, which was this guy right over here. And. My last favorite that isn't a prototype is most likely Pirate Flux, because I like talking like a pirate. Officially, we were celebrating the 20th anniversary of the invention of Flux, but of course, we were really celebrating everything to do with Looney Labs. We had fans coming in from all over the country to spend the weekend playing our games with us, and we had a heck of a lot of fun. I'd that for an hour. Probably a play to <laughs> move through. So if you match two colors by playing one card, you get to draw an extra card. I'd poison that for a pizza. If you can play another uh, two keepers, two more keepers you, you win. Four, five, six. You win. A lot of people enjoying themselves, a lot of laughter, a lot of fun, a lot of games. I have met so many interesting people. They have been so friendly. Oh man, my experience has been... It's everything I wanted it to be. I like it here. It is so laid back. Everyone is so nice. You can walk up to anybody and say, hey, you want to play a game? And everyone's cool with it. I've been a Looney's fan literally my whole life. My mom knew Andy in college, so I, I grew up playing Flux and playing pyramid games and fiddling around with the little pyramids. And it's really, it's been a few years since they've done something of this scale. They used to do big stuff at other cons, and so it's really nice to have another event where I get to play with the big pyramids and see all my friends. You know, the, the Looney's are known as the hippie game company, and. It, it really shows they're some of the most approachable people in the industry. My favorite thing Go ahead. Look at was me. most likely playing Parsley or playing Ice Towers with Andy Looney himself. Whoever's yellow can play in that tower. Um, I think, yeah, I, I, that's true. I have a lot of unplayed pieces. Yeah, it's, it's but, uh, all of the sure. I think it's Andy being generous. <laughs> well, I'm also cool. talking and playing slower, but here are you all. I'll jump on a bunch of towers for you. Okay. Thank you for that, Declan, for pointing out how he can win. And of course, we were also playtesting new games that have yet to be published. We had a lot of different versions of Flux available for people to try out. One of the ones that people were most interested in was Math Flux. Interestingly enough, people like math. Uh, this Flux makes me very happy. It's been great seeing all of the interesting prototypes that Andy's been able to show off. I really loved that Math Flux game and want more of it. All of the prototypes you can take a look at, that's wonderful. See what's coming out, what might be coming out, hopefully put in a good word if you find one that you really like. We were also playtesting the new version of Zendo, featuring the interesting new shapes, and we'll be publishing that next year. Another thing we did was Improv Flux Design. This is an event in which I design a new version of Flux before your very eyes. So lots of different ideas were nominated. But Simpsons is like too big of a universe. But at the end of the day, the crowd picked Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And then I spent the next couple of hours working out all the keepers and goals and other new elements that the new game would contain. So Deep Thought and the Earth are the two greatest computers in the history of the universe. But what do I actually call that? Computers. Can we just call well, computers? They're anything? not just computers. They're the ultimate computers. They're the greatest ultimate computers that have ever been made. Well, That's the ultimate the computer blew up all those ships in Star Trek. Arthur Day. Ford Prefect. Marvin is spelled wrong on your thing. Right, but the replicator had a name. Yeah, you're right. I can't think of it. The Nutramat. The Nutramat. <laughs> the Nutramatic Dispenser. Yes. Yes. The Nutramatic Dispenser. Is that worth having in? I'm not sure, but I'm glad we figured it out. Twelve keepers. Twelve keepers, yeah. Three creepers. Plus two creepers. That's uh, fourteen eepers. Things Arthur Dead always wants, earth and tea. 
So by the end of the event, I had a workable version of a Hitchhiker's Guide Flux deck, and during the course of the weekend, we got a chance to try playing it, and it was a lot of fun. And it was great seeing what ideas the fans would suggest. They sometimes took me in directions I wouldn't have thought of to go in myself. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Yes. Another thing we did at LunyCon was I ran a couple of my Parsley games. Doors closed behind you. It dawned on you that you'd stumbled into the secret underground headquarters of the company you work for. An amazing place you've heard about only in rumors. Now, these are really fun group games based on the old text adventure games for the computer, except it's played with a big crowd. Everyone takes turns pretending to tell the computer what to do, and I, as the computer, tell them what happened. I'm sorry, you'll have to talk to the president about that. What do you want to do? I'm sorry, you can't see the president without an appointment. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm sorry, no appointments are available at this time. <laughs> what do you want to do? 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 Have you played this one before? Well, one of the best things about the weekend was all of the interactivity we were able to provide between us and all of our fans who showed up to play games with us. For example, we had a big tie-dye workshop. So, you notice this quadrant, each of these quadrants is a similar pattern because she first folded up into those to the, to the ports. At that hippie game company, we're known for tie-dye, and we were amazed at how everybody wanted to do some tie-dyeing themselves. And so those of you who want to try something that you saw us talk about and you're not sure how to do it, we'll walk around and help. We've got some time. You don't have to do it instantly. Um, if you fold it into eighths, like you're going to, like you're doing a snowflake cutting, basically. Think of it that way, but instead of cutting holes, you're going to you're going to pinch off bandanas. This is difficult. I've never tied that with 100 people before. We also had a costume contest for people who felt like dressing up like the characters from our game, Just Desserts. And that was a lot of fun, too. We, we couldn't believe how many people got into that. It was great. Now, I think if you're smart, you go see what buttons are left and claim to be one of them now. <laughs> I think we have one emperor. How many vote for this emperor? <laughs> Democracy, it's a <laughs> Other events at LunyCon included a huge flux tournament, a big session of Andy versus Everybody, in which I play a dozen different games at once. I win! <laughs> and an exhibition game of Homeworlds, played with giant pyramids. Come on down, John. Good luck. Factory. That stays. Oh, sorry. Large blue all red where? Place those, move those in. Alright. Sacrifice. Uh huh. Good afternoon. Alright, let's see what we got. So we have this attack, then he takes your green ship, and then the game's over. So that doesn't help. So we are now prepared to accept your surrender. Yeah. Before we make the move that'll destroy your homeworld. I accept it. That's okay. Good. I feel like I was uh, had you on the run most of the game, but then that, uh, that sneak attack at the end was nice. <laughs> Everybody on stage gets fifty dollars. The winners get a hundred dollars. Everybody, please see me later and get your money, okay? Now, all through the weekend, people were collecting these flux bucks that we were giving out in various ways. And one of the big ways you could earn these was during the trivia contest we had on Sunday morning. Number three. Where did Kristen and Andy meet? One word. I know. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Disqualified. Can I play? What is Andy's burner name? This one I think very few know. Two words. I, I know this one. You'll laugh. Outside voice. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get it. It's outdoor voice. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to accept that. I answered the outside voice. And why they wanted all these bucks was for the big rare items auction we held on Sunday. We had 50 different items for auction, and we had a lot of fun auctioning those off to whoever had collected the most flux bucks during the weekend. Item number one is an uncut Aquarius sheet from the first printing of Aquarius. Cut this up and make two cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. The original edition Zendo set, mint in box, still an original, plastic piece 
Coronavirus. And this was published by uh, under my fake company called Empire Publications. This is also the original purple bag. The larges have all had a hole drilled in them because they were used as Christmas tree ornaments. Do I have one hundred dollars for this? I do. One hundred right here. One thirty. One thirty over there. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. One seventy-five. One seventy-five. One ninety. One ninety. Twenty bid is twelve hundred dollars. Anyway, LoonyCon was a big, big success. We all had a lot of fun getting together with our fans and playing games all weekend, celebrating 20 years of doing this, and who knows, maybe we'll do it all again next year.